So you may notice that I'm in a new location and usually I come into a new space with a little bit of trepidation, especially this one because right outside the door here is the door, is the exit, the door to the garage and it has one of those um, you know, fireproof things that makes it slam when anyone comes out. So I anticipate that someone during our practice will slam that door <laughs> or someone will open the garage door and there'll be um, some noise. So to counteract this trepidation, I'm going to suggest we practice sending love to our day. And to do that, I'd like to start on our backs. Um, so take your blanket or your towel and roll it up if you have one. If not, no problem, just come on down. And then we're going to set it up so it's lengthwise on the mat and then take your hips and place them right at the bottom of the blanket and hopefully your head will be at the top so you have a nice soft place to land. If you have a um, longer body than me, maybe just scooch down a little bit. And then extend your legs long or like I um, was, maybe uh, come into a cross-legged or even Baddha Konasana, depending on how you're feeling this morning. And then um, take your shoulders and wrap them around your, your towel or blanket and just let your shoulders relax down. And you might take one or both hands to the heart, one hand to belly and heart, or just let your hands rest. So once you arrive here, begin to just settle in. Notice how it feels to have this open heart. So if our tendency is to begin our day with trepidation, fear, any negative emotions, let's see if we can uh, mindfully um, change that a bit. So just by being present to that, we're already shifting that awareness. So present to your body, notice those parts of the body that are making contact with the surface beneath you. Notice the externals, the sounds, the sounds in the distance, the sounds closer in, the sound of my voice. welcoming whatever comes. Notice the temperature of the air and the sensation of the clothes against your skin. If your eyes are closed, notice the light that filters in through your eyelids. Begin to notice your heartbeat and your normal pattern of breath. If your hands are on your heart, notice your emotional state. Perhaps start by sending some love to yourself. And begin to soften the belly, inviting in a deeper breath, filling up the belly, the rib cage, drawing that air all the way up to the very tops of the lungs, pausing, and then 
slowly exhaling through the mouth or the nose this first time, just letting go of all the air, letting the belly draw back down. And begin again when you're ready, inhaling completely, pausing, and then exhaling slowly. Keep going. I'll read you this um, couple of pages from the Daily Om, Inspirational Thoughts for a Happy, Healthy, and Fulfilling Day by Madison Taylor. And this one is about Days of affirmation, sending love ahead to your day. Upon waking, many people consider the coming day with trepidation. Because of the natural human tendency to focus on what we fear or dislike, it is easy to unwittingly send a message of unrest into the future that negatively impacts the quality of our day. However, while our lives are busy and frequently replete with challenges, they are also rich with joy and experiences worth savoring. We can attract this natural bliss by starting each day with a message of love. When you send love ahead to your day, that feeling will manifest itself into your interpersonal interactions, your professional endeavors, and your domestic duties. Tasks and circumstances once made trying by your own anxiety are transformed by your caring, and you will find yourself approaching life's subtle nuances with great affection. Each morning, when you have cast off the fog of sleep, take several deep grounding breaths and reaffirm the love that you have for yourself. Speaking a loving, self-directed blessing aloud enables you to access and awaken the reservoir of tenderness in your soul. Before you leave the comfortable warmth of your bed, be sure to tell the universe that you are eager and ready to receive the blessings it has set aside for you. Then, as you prepare to meet the day, visualize yourself first saturated and then surrounded with a warm and soft loving light. Gradually widen the circle of this illumination until you are able to send it ahead into your future. If you are commuting to work, transmit love to the roads upon which you will drive your fellow commuters and your parking space. If you have colleagues who arrive at your workplace before you, send them good wishes. Likewise, a day spent being a parent or addressing household chores can benefit from the sentiment that precedes you. Sending love ahead to everyone you will meet and everything you will do can ensure that your day is suffused with grace. If you have difficulty directing love to those situations and individuals you deem particularly frustrating, consider that the warmth and tenderness you project can change your life for the better. Each morning, in sending this love, you will exercise your power to control the ambiance of your existence and color your day with a positive force. I like that. I like that a lot. So let's consider that as we roll off of our blanket and come back down. Just let the back neutralize. Hug your knees into your chest. And begin taking those circles, drawing circles on the ceiling. And go the opposite direction. Excellent. And when you're ready, keep a hold of the right leg. 
hug it into your shoulder, extend the left leg long. Take a nice big breath in, take some ankle circles on this right side. And as you exhale, switch the direction of your circles. And then send this right leg long up toward the ceiling. Maybe a little bend in your knee as you point and flex, keeping that breath nice and slow and smooth. Good. And then hug the knee back in. Take your left hand to the outside of this right leg and gently guide yourself into a twist, opening up that right arm. Good. Breathe in and breathe out. Awesome. Take this right arm and take a circle, opening up the shoulder. And if you have a plant or a wall in the way, just be gentle, careful not to slam your arm into it. Come back to center, hug the knee in one more time, and then release the right leg long. Take the left leg in. Good, nice big breath in. Take some circles in one direction with that ankle. And as you exhale, switch directions. Good. And then send that left leg up to the sky and flex in point. Good. And then bend that knee. Take your right hand to the outside of the left leg and gently guide it over, opening up that left arm to a T maybe gently turning your head toward that left side. Take a full breath in and a nice long breath out. And then slowly come back to center, release that left leg. Take a circle with this left arm. Good. And then reach your arms overhead, take a full body stretch, reaching up, getting long, pointing the toes, and see if you can arch your back just a little bit. Getting that lower back um, up off the floor. And then as you release your arms down to your side, take the belly and draw it into the spine. Press the lower back into the mat. Good. On your next breath in, draw your knees into your chest and begin to rock and roll forward and back. And if this is not good for you. Simply roll to one side. There we go. There's the first slam of the door and I'm going to meet that with a smile. And then come up to a comfortable seat. There we go. <laughs> See, I'm so glad I sent love to that future, uh, future incident. So slam doors are no biggie. All right, sitting up nice and tall. Crisscross applesauce or one leg in front of the other. Let's draw our shoulders up to our ears and then draw them back and down. And take a couple more circles of the shoulders. Nice. And then when you're ready, take your chin down to your chest and take your arms out to your sides, palms facing up. And as you inhale, gently raise your arms and raise your gaze, look up. And as you exhale, hands come down to heart center, chin comes down to chest. Good. Take two more. Inhale as you lift. And exhale as you breath. Press your palms in together and lower your chin to your chest. Good. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Just pausing here, letting your hands rest wherever they're comfortable. We'll take some circles with the nose. Good. And then switching directions. Nice. Awesome, stopping before any dizziness sets in. And then take your hands to the, whatever foot is in front, if there is one, or to the fronts of your legs. 
and we're going to shine our heart, take some seated cat cows, inhale as we lift our gaze, shine your heart, and exhale as you round, drawing the belly into the spine, just moving forward and back. We'll get going gently this morning, moving in as many directions as we can think of. Creating that flexibility. Good. We'll take one more each direction. Just moving with your breath. And then come up to center, inhale, reaching those arms up, looking up, and take a side bend over to your left. Good. Inhale to reach up and look up, and side bend over to your right. Good. Inhale, we'll go both directions one more time. Maybe two more times. Depending on how it feels in your body, keeping both uh, glutes on the floor. Good. As we come up again, inhale. Get really long in the side body. And then we'll take a twist, gentle twist. Right arm goes back. Left arm reaches for the outside of the right leg. Twisty, twisty. Good. Inhale, reach up and take your gentle twist to the other side. We'll just take these dynamic twists, two more. Inhaling as we lift up and exhaling as we twist. Moving with the breath. Good. We'll take one more to the other side. Excellent. And then pause, come back to center. Just notice, notice how you're feeling, starting to get a little more fluid with your movements. Let's bring our feet together in Baddha Konasana. Tuck your heels up close to you, unless that bothers your knees. And then reach around to, um, with your hands and just um, hold on to the outsides of your feet. And sit up nice and tall, shine. And then see if you can lower your legs a little closer to the mat. And if this is too much for you, you can bring your legs out a little farther. You can just play with where you like to be in your Baddha Konasana. And one more breath in to shine. And then as you exhale, just come forward just to test sensation in the lower back. Notice how that's feeling this morning. Maybe you lift up again on your inhale and lengthen out a bit. And then on your exhale, you can round forward. So let's take a few more of these just to lift and lengthen and gently give that lower back a stretch. So only going as far as your lower back is ready this morning. Good. And then once you find that spot, that, that edge, where you get a little bit of a stretch, but no pain, just pause here and take three breaths, acknowledging resistance and seeing if you can send a little bit of breath, a little bit of love to that trepidation. It's just yoga, nothing to fear. Send the love there. Let's take one more full deep breath. See if you can breathe into the upper lungs on the back side of the body, completely filling up. And then exhale as you slowly make your way on up. Take the outsides of your legs with your hands and gently lift them up. Take your hands somewhere behind your hips and just lift and spread your toes. Lift them off the floor so the heels are still on the floor. Good. And then lower the toes. Lift the heels. Little um, Barbie foot there. 
and then a couple more lift the toes spread the, spread the toes nice and wide and then lower them to the floor lift the heels good one more it's a nice stretch for those ankles good lower the heels and then just for fun let's lift our hips off the floor and come into our reverse tabletop and see how your shoulders are feeling this morning. Maybe you lift up a little higher, drawing the belly into the spine. Maybe you let your head uh, relax back, if that's okay with your neck. And notice what's happening with your breath as we get into the strength uh, shape here. Good. Take one more full breath in and a slow exhalation take yourself down as slowly as you can lower your hips to the floor extend your legs long take your arms out wide like you're gonna fly and then wrap yourself in a big hug so taking your hands behind you just give yourself a big bear hug good inhale again open up and switch the cross of your arms bear hug i just would love to hug a bear, but apparently it's dangerous. So teddy bears, shake it out. Inhale, reach up, look up. And here we go, we're gonna forward fold. So lower back, you know it, you know it already. You're already tapped into that lower back. Reach for your legs, your ankles, your feet, or wrap a strap around your feet. And come into this uh, forward fold. So. You can do the same thing as we did in Baddha Konasana. Inhale to lift and lengthen. Find that length. And then exhale. See if you can find a little more of an edge. So keeping those feet flexed will engage the legs, the hamstrings. Provide some stability here. Maybe one more lift and lengthen. Keeping those shoulders plugged in. And then once you find that edge, just lower down. Chin can come to chest. And you can just soften here and take three breaths with me. Good. Notice here is a resistance in the lower back or the hamstrings. See if you can send some breath, some love there. And then on your next exhalation, take your fingertips to either side of your legs and just gently walk yourself up. We'll bend the knees, place the feet on the floor, hands come behind you. Just windshield washer right and left. Little wake up for the hips. And then let's come on up, find a tabletop. So decide if you want to place your blanket underneath your knees. We will be here for just a bit. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Press into all those finger joints and that little space, that muscle between the thumb and the forefinger. Press that in to support you. And then take some cat cows. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, lift the tailbone, and exhale round. So drawing the belly into the spine as you come into that Halloween cat shape. Inhale, coming into your cow, and exhale round. Good. Take a few more. Already, our day is going so well. One breath at a time. With a positive anticipation for the next. Doesn't get much better than that. All right, come back to center. Shake it out. So be shake it out. And if your knees are okay here, come along with me for a little bird dog. So extend that left leg long. Point the toes to the floor so you don't bang into your bookshelf. <laughs> I definitely, I moved some furniture around here, so I'm just still getting 
used to that. Okay, right arm extends, the palm is facing in, the left toes are facing down, and the gaze is just ahead of your mat. Good. Strengthen the legs. And then we're going to lower the right hand down to the floor. Keep that left leg lifted. And then take it out to the side. Take your gaze over toward the left foot. So yeah, this left hip is getting uh, uh, activated here. And you can, um, getting a little stretch in the right side body, a little compression in the left. Good. So see if you can hold it up. Keep that breath nice and smooth. And then bend that knee. Take it on over so the left toes are coming to the floor. Peel your left arm up and we're in a modified wild thing. How fun is that? Good. So the left foot is on the floor, toes are on the floor, heels lifted. And then maybe take a little arm circle here or even a half bind if that's feeling excited, something like something exciting for you, open up that left shoulder a little bit more. On your inhale, reach up. And on your exhale, take your left hand down, your left knee down. Sophie, shake it out. Good. Well, that was crazy. Let's try the other side. So go ahead and extend the right leg long. Toes point toward the floor. Reach the le left arm forward. This is a tight space here. Good. Okay, reach, take your gaze forward just ever so slightly so you have a nice long neck and your palm is facing forward. Oh my gosh, this is just no room here. Let me move over a little bit. Good, good. All right, when you're ready, take the left hand down to the floor. Um, also, there you can have a little kickstand with your left toes if you're feeling um, a little shaky here. And then take that right leg out to the side, lift it up, flex your foot, take your gaze over to the right foot. Good, so you're stretching the left side body, a little compression in that right oblique, yeah, right outer hip, getting all the love. Who knew, right? Take one more breath in. And as you exhale, bend that knee, take that right foot behind you, lift that right arm up, modified, wild thing. We're so wild. Good, breathe in, maybe take an arm circle or a half bind. Nice open heart here, right shoulder getting the love. And then reach up when you're ready. On your exhale, take your right hand down, take your right leg down. Okay, here we get a well-deserved break. So knees come wide on your mat, big toes touch, sink your hips back. Find your first child's pose of the day, possibly. Reach your arms forward. And then finally, just surrender here. Let's take a full five breaths here in child's pose. Softening where you can. Sending those hips back down, maybe taking your time to get into your full expression of child's pose. Whatever it is for you, it's completely perfect. Let's take three more breaths here. Nice job. Soft shoulders, soft jaw, and nice open hips. All right, on your next inhalation, just slowly come back up. Take your hands a little forward of your, your um, tabletop position and tuck those toes. Get a nice stretch of your feet before you begin to activate those legs as you lift up into your first downward facing dog. Move any accoutrement out of your way. And then take your dog for a walk, bending one knee and then the other. Just letting your head hang 
so that the back of the neck is soft here. Good. And then find stillness in your downward facing dog. Maybe lift your hips a little bit higher and you can keep as much of a bend in your knees as you feel you need. Take a big breath in, come up on your toes, look forward, and take a gentle walk to the front of your mat. Find a forward fold here. Let your head really dangle. You might take your feet a little bit wider and you might have uh, a more of a bend in your knees, just depending on how your lower back is feeling. Then take a hold of your elbows if you like, come into ragdoll. Shake your head yes. And shake your head no. Good. On your inhalation, take your hands to your shins or your blocks and come on up to a halfway lift. Find that half table. Nice long spine here. Definitely going to have to rearrange some furniture here. And as you exhale, refold and let your head dangle again. Maybe straighten your legs a little bit more. And as you're ready, bend your knees, root into the earth and begin to rise up, reaching your arms up, finding that length in the side body, reaching the fingertips up to the sky, looking up, feet firmly planted. Take a hold of the left wrist and lean to the right. Side bend here. Good. Inhale back up to center and then lean to the left. Good. Inhale, reach up and look up. And exhale, take your hands back behind you. Give yourself a clasp. Send, send them down, shine your heart. And then we'll forward fold together as we lift up our arms. Coming in to that forward fold, getting a shoulder stretch. Good, one more breath in, and one more breath out. And as you inhale, take your hands to your shins again, come up to your halfway lift, shoulders draw back. And as you exhale, take your uh, hands to the floor, step your right leg all the way back, come into that runner's lunge. So from your runner's lunge with your left knee, aligned so nicely over your left ankle. Take your right hand to the inside of the right left foot and lift up the left arm coming into a twist. Good, big breath in. Again, option for a shoulder circle or a half bind here. Good. And then as you're ready, on your exhalation, we're going to take that left hand down to the outside of the left foot. And always the option, if your blanket is nearby, to put it down uh, before you lower your right knee. And here we are. Hands come to the insides of this, the left foot. And we'll come into a lizard pose here. So um, this is perfect. You can stay right here. You can even play with some wrist stretches while you're here. You can decide if you'd like to sink down to a block or to your mat. We're going to take about five breaths here. So begin to find your edge, your soft edge. And See if you can close your eyes and just tune in to this deep stretch. Notice what's going on with your neck. See if you can soften the neck, even bringing the chin down to the chest if you like. And swallow in your throat if you might be gripping in any way around that area. Sometimes we might notice we're clenching our teeth or jaw. Let's take two more breaths here. Deep, intense stretches. Remember, we sent all that love here before. It's all good. Good. On your next exhalation, take your hands down to the floor. Reframe that 
left foot and straighten that left leg should feel nice Point the toes toward the ceiling. Shine your heart. Excellent. And then as you exhale, just bow. Bow to yourself. Bow to your left knee. Bow to your day. Why not? Excellent. Let's take one more breath in. Lift up. And on your exhale, lower that left foot. And we're going to take a little journey here. So we're going to come up on our right toes. And we're going to take ourselves through the center of our mat. So we're going to come wide, legs wide, um, toes pointed forward. And then bring your uh, fingertips to the earth and come into a halfway lift. Just take a moment here to appreciate the length in your spine. The gaze will be forward, um, just slightly forward, a nice long back of the neck. Shoulders again down away from the ears. And then as you exhale the next time, just take your hands down to the mat. Let your head come forward. Take a forward fold. Good. Nice breath in. Long breath out. So hands can come back to line up with your feet, if you like. Again, shake out the head, yes and no. Nice big breath in, long breath out. When you're ready, come back to that halfway lift. So walk your fingertips forward, gaze slightly forward, draw the shoulder blades back, and then take your hands to your hips and hinge so you come on up to standing And here we are, let's take up space, let's be stars. Bring your arms out, spread your fingers nice and wide, the stars that we are, good. And then take your hands to your hips. We're gonna look down at our feet and shift them so they're facing the opposite direction that they were. And we're gonna come on down, lowering that left knee to hopefully our blanket or our block and scooch this right foot over to the right, good. And then take your hands to the inside. So you might might have to um, adjust to get the length for your uh, lizard pose here. So you wanna maybe send that left leg back a little longer, top of the foot on the floor. And good, so alignment this right knee over the right ankle, or you can let that knee just splay open ever so slightly as you find your lizard of choice, so. And come down to your elbows. You can stay up high for a while. You can move around a little bit just to get the benefit of the stretch. Eventually, we want to find a little bit of stillness where you can just close your eyes and bring your awareness to the sensation. Taking some nice slow breaths. Remembering the love that was sent here in the beginning. Good, breathe in. Hold it and then let it go. Nice. And let go of any tension in the back of the neck. We have a couple more breaths here. On your next breath in, begin to think about lifting up. And on your exhalation, take your hands to the inside of this left foot. And then leave the left hand there and sweep this right arm up. Take your twist on this side. And then take your right hand to the outside of the right foot. You might have to scooch it over a little bit. And then we're going to straighten the right leg, lift those right toes, sink the hips back, coming into our half Hanumanasana, the uh, 
half splits. So lift and shine, and on your exhale, fold, bow. Good. Excellent. Let's take one more breath here. Fill up completely. And on your exhale, just slowly make your way up and take your uh, right knee to meet your left. And hopefully we're still on the blanket. Tuck your toes. Just sink your hips back for just a moment to rest on those toes. We'll get a nice stretch of our feet. If this works for you, if not, lower the tops of the feet to the floor. And then come on down to sit. So this might not work for you, but it's a nice stretch for the quads and the knees. See if you can pause here. If not, we're gonna, we're gonna come through a um, camel pose and then make our way back down to our mats. So if you can pause here, just let your eyes close. Just notice if there's any resistance always the option to tuck something underneath between the hips and the legs. Okay. And take one more breath. Just noticing awareness of our bodies. And then when you're ready, come forward, tuck your toes again. Lift all the way up. See if you can lift up to a kneeling position. And we'll take that right arm up, follow it with your gaze, take it around in a circle. That's a little familiar here. See if you can reach back and find the back of your heel. And then maybe your left arm lifts up so we get a stretch in those quadriceps. Lean back as much as you feel ready. Maybe look up. Good, half camel. Again, knees padded as much as you need. We'll take one more breath in and slowly release that, come back down. Let's take one cat cow just to work out the kinks, especially pressing into the earth, coming into that cat pose. And then we'll come back into the other side. So come on up in your kneeling position, toes are tucked. Take that left arm up, follow it with your gaze, and then circle it on back. See if you can find that left ankle, left heel, left ankle. Reach the right arm up, lean back, shine your heart. Stretches in the quadriceps, so press those hips forward. Good, this is intense. So only go as far as your back will let you and your knees and everything. Remembering we sent the love here, it's all good. <laughs> One more breath in. And then exhale, make your way slowly down for one more cat-cow. Especially pressing into the earth, drawing the belly into the spine. Good. And then we'll tuck our toes, lift our hips. One more downward facing dog. Excellent. Move your blanket out of the way so you can take a walk forward to the front of your mat and then take a seat. Ah, take a seat somewhere in the middle of your mat, actually. <clears throat> we have one more um, peak pose, we'll call it. So lean back until you start to feel your abs. Might not be far. See if you can loop your shoulders back and maybe lift your legs. Keep your hands behind your legs as much as you feel you need to. And then come into your table. So maybe your hands release. Maybe your legs straighten. You can always come in and out. Make this tab table, I called it table. I meant boat. <laughs> Once I did boat on a boat, we went on an Alaskan cruise and I, I um, did yoga on the deck. And I said, I gotta do boat on a boat. I'm just trying to distract you. So keep your breath smooth, even if you're shaking like me. Maybe lower down a little bit more, yeah. Good, maybe lower down a little bit more. 
maybe come with me, lowering down, maybe just a few inches off the mat, maybe come back up. Always options, right? Lower back down. Let's hang here for two breaths as much as we can. And then lower all the way down. Oh my goodness. <sighs> How good was that? <laughs> oh. All right, take your legs wide. Just pause here, maybe place a hand on belly, hand on heart. wherever you need that love. And then decide if you'd like to cover up, if your AC is really cranking today, or maybe just place a blanket lovingly on your belly. And take your arms nice and wide, and then tuck those shoulders underneath. Make your way to a final Shavasana. So we've stretched quite a bit today. maybe in sending that love to our day. We've stretched even more. Maybe that's a whole new concept. I kind of like the idea. So here we are. Let's spend just a couple of moments allowing everything we've done to integrate. Letting go here. Nothing to do, just be. Stay right where you are if you'd like. Ignore everything I'm going to say. <gasps> or begin to make small movements, wiggling fingers and toes. Turning the head from side to side. And if you'd like to roll to one side and just pause there for a moment making a little pillow with your arms. Eventually making your way up to a comfortable seat. Maybe taking the funky cross of your legs. So it feels a little awkward. And just take a moment with your eyes closed to tune in. Notice if there's a little more space in your hips in your heart and in your head. And when you're ready, take your arms out wide. Inhale, reach up for all the goodness. And exhale, hands come to heart center in Anjali Mudra, the mudra of prayer. Just bowing your head for a moment and sending a good thought, a prayer 
some compassion to someone or a group of people who could use it. Just taking a moment to share this love that we've generated here in our mats. And lifting your gaze, I bow to you, my fellow yogis. Thank you so much for joining me again. And I look forward to practicing. Until next time, namaste. Nice job. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs>